Hi everyone, it is me, Aset, here at The Goddess Inside, and in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit more about what is known as the Osirian Mysteries. So, um, this is something that is very prevalent in the stories of ancient Egypt, especially in conjunction with the goddess Isis, uh, the goddess Nephthys, and the god Osiris. So now Osiris was a very um, important god to the ancient Egyptians. He goes way back and um, his religious center is in a town called Abydos. And within this town today, that's where we will find the mortuary temple to Seti I. And also Ramses II has a temple there as well, not too far from Seti, his father's temple. Um, so the Osirian Mysteries has to do with um, the story of Osiris being murdered and dismembered by his brother Set, then found, brought back to life, put back together by his sister Nephthys, his sister and slash wife Isis, and also his son um, or nephew Anubis. And so this whole story takes place throughout the whole um, like fall season of um, the year. So you've got things started with the lamentations, you've got um, that's the ritual of, you know, Isis being very sad, finding out that he's been murdered and mourning his death. And then later we have um, the raising of the Jed Pillar. You've got the whole um, festival season of um, putting his body back together, wrapping up a little uh, corn mummy uh, that has grain uh, seeds planted in it and all of these things were taking place in ancient Egypt. So um, Osiris, it's kind of interesting because in ancient Egypt numerology is very important and um, Osiris was cut up into 14 different pieces. So this corresponds to the 14 uh, phases of the moon in its waxing phase and the 14 phases of the moon in its waning phase. So the waning phases, those days of the month are like when uh, Osiris was getting, you know, he's losing parts of himself. And then as the moon waxes, those 14 days are Osiris, all of these pieces of himself being pulled back together. So the way that I like to work with the Osirian Mysteries in my own life, and that I'm going to share here with you because I find it it's super helpful, Osiris is kind of the pull-yourself-together man uh, archetype where many times in our lives we feel cut off from our joy. We feel cut off from a sense of belonging. We feel cut off from uh, family, places, uh, ways that we want to feel. And as Osiris pulls himself back together, this is something that he encourages us through the Osirian Mysteries to do in our lives today. It's to look at all of the pieces of yourself that you need to pull back in um, so that you can feel uh, whole once again. So maybe there's something that you used to enjoy doing that you don't do anymore because maybe other responsibilities got in the way, there were um, time constraints, things like that. Um, I, I love in the notebook, if you've watched the movie or, I don't know, I didn't read the book, I just watched the movie, but there's a part in it where the girl goes to her fiance and you know she looks at him and she's like, I used to paint. And so he looks at her kind of incredulously and he's like, so go paint. And I love the simplicity, but the power within that statement. So let's look at what it is that you have going on that you used to find so much joy in, that you used to find so much fulfillment in. Maybe it's painting. Maybe it's baking. Maybe it's working in your yard. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's writing and journaling. Um, maybe it's sewing. Um, maybe it's dancing. Who knows what it could be? Maybe you used to do yoga all the time and now you don't. Maybe you used to have a smoothie every morning and now you don't. So Osiris is encouraging you. So I would say let's use the next 14 days. 
what is something that you're going to pull back into your life for the next 14 days that makes you feel whole again. So I'm not going to ask you to you know, find 14 different things. Just find one thing and make sure that over the next 14 days you do something with that in your life so that you can once again begin to get grounded and begin to feel whole um, and maybe in a way begin to feel like yourself again because many times in life we tend to get lost within life and life kind of swallows us up. So the Osirian Mysteries has this juicy nugget for us to pull out of it. And this is what I'm encouraging you to do. So I hope that this video, once again, was helpful for you. And as always, um, get on my email list. Uh, check out my Patreon. Um, join me in Egypt. I would love to see you. And of course... I would love to hear from you. So be sure that you not only check out all the links below, but that you also leave me a comment and share with me um, something that you're going to pull into your life, that you're going to remember yourself with over the course of the next 14 days. I really look forward to hearing what that might be for you. So until next time, may you enjoy everything about today.